want to get back to the situation in Erie County with a total of seven confirmed cases now. Erie County's top officials held a news conference today on the situation. Now that was before we knew of the four new additional cases. Uh, we are entering uncharted waters. Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein says each of the cases are unrelated and all patients are recovering at their respective homes under mandatory quarantine. Well, they're monitoring their temperatures twice a day. We are uh, checking in with them once to twice a day by uh, phone or by text. In addition, Burstein says an epidemiology team is in the process of tracking each case's activity before they tested positive. Burstein says they plan to notify anyone who may have come in contact with those individuals. Foreign travel has History is also no longer necessary to be tested for the virus. They can have any travel history anywhere outside of Erie County, or they could have, uh, you know, fever and any respiratory symptoms. Erie County Executive Mark Polencar says while no cases currently require hospitalization, they're preparing for a worst case scenario. Part of that involves the old Erie County Infirmary in Alden. Polencar says he was just there touring the property to see what it would take to put hospital beds inside for COVID-19 patients. There are significant infrastructure things that would need to be done because it was closed, I believe, in 2011. Uh, we are going to be uh, talking to contractors this week to talk about what it would take to potentially open up one wing of it. And even though there's no school until April 20th, Polencar says this is anything but a vacation for students. You are not to go to Chuck E. Cheese with your kids. You are not to go to the mall. You are to stay home.